Magandang araw sa ating mga guro. Ngayon naman ay tatalakayin natin ang most essential learning competencies para naman sa grade 3. So titingnan natin ang mga nilalaman na most essential learning para sa grade 3. Bago natin simulan ang ating milk for grade 3, mag-subscribe muna tayo sa ating YouTube channel Teacher Chris TV at huwag natin kalimutan na i-hit ang notification bell para updated kayo lagi sa ating mga upcoming videos. Tara na at simulan na natin. Simulan natin sa araling panlipunan na nasa pahina 23 to 25. Ayan, nakikita natin na meron tayong limang column, may quarter, content standards, performance standards, most essential learning competencies at duration. Ngayon, lagi tayo magpo-focus sa most essential learning competencies dahil ito na ang ituturo natin sa ating mga bata. Para sa week 1, ipapaliwanag ang kahulugan ng simbolo. Sa week 2, nasusuri ang kinalalagyan ng mga lalawigan. Week 3, nasusuri ang katangian ng populasyon ng iba't ibang pamayanan. Week 4, nasusuri at ibang ibang lalawigan sa rehiyon. Week 5, natutukoy ang pagkakaugnay-ugnay ng mga anyang tubig at lupa. Week 6, nakagagawa ng payak na mapa. Week 7, natutukoy ang mga lugar na sensitibo. Week 8, na ipapaliwanag ang wastong pangangasiwa. Week 8, also nakakabuo ng interpret interpretasyon ng kapaligiran. Para sa second quarter, Week 1, nasusuri ang kasaysayan ng rehiyon. Week 2, nagtatalakay mga pagbabago. Week 3, naiugnay sa kasalukoy pamuhay ng mga tao ang kwento. Week 4, natatalakay ang kahulugan ng ilang simbolo at sagisag ng sariling lalawigan. Week 5, naiyahambing ang ilang simbolo at sagisag ng guwapakilala ng iba't ibang lalawigan. Week 6, natatalakay ang kahulugan ng official hymn. Week 7, napapahalaga ng mga naiambag ng mga, ng mga bayani. Week 8, nabibigyang halaga ang katangitangin lalawigan sa kanabibilangan ng rehiyon. Para sa third quarter, Week 1, na ilalarawan ang kultura ng mga lalawigan. Week 2, na ipapaliwanag ang kaugnayan ng heograpiya. Week 3, na ilalarawan ang pagkakilan ng kultural. Week 4, na ipapaliwanag ang kahalaga ng mga makasaysayan lugar. Week 5 hanggang 6, na iyahambay pagkakato at pagkakaiba ng mga kaugalian at iba pa. Week 7, na papahalaga ng iba't ibang pangkat ng tao sa lalawigan at rehiyon. Week 8, na ipamamalas ang pagpaparag sa pagkakatulad at pagkakaiba ng mga kultura. Para sa fourth quarter, week 1, na ipapaliwan ang kaugnay ng kapaligan sa uri na pamumuhay. Week 2, na ipapaliwan ang iba't ibang pakinabang pang-ekonomiko. Week 3 hanggang 4, natatalake, natatalakay ang pinanggalingan ng produktong kinakawilangan ng lalawigan. Week 5, na iugnay ang pakikipagkakalan sa pagtugon ng pangangailangan. Week, five, week 6, natutukoy ang infrastruktura at iba pa. Week 6, Week 7 na ipapaliwanag ang kahalagahan ng gampanin ng pamahalaan at week 8 nakakalaga sa mga gawain na hatol ng pagkakaisa kay kaayusan kaunlaran ng sariling lalawigan at kinabibilangan ng rehiyon. Diyan nagtatapos ang araling panlipunan para sa baitang tatlo. Dumako naman tayo sa edukasyon sa pagpapakatao. Para sa ikatlong baitang nasa pahina 50 hanggang 53. Unang markahan para sa week 1, tutukoy yung natatanging kakayahan. Sa week 2 naman, kakayahan sa paggawa. Week 3, pagsunod sa pamantayan ng mag-anak. Para sa ikatlong, ikalawang markahan, week 1, pagpapadama ng malasakit. Week 2, pagpapakita ng malasakit. Week 3, pagsasaalang-alang ng katayuan, kalagayan ng pangkat etnik kung kinabibilangan. Para sa ikatlong mark, week 4, nakapagpapakita ng may, kat, ng may kasihan sa pakikiisa sa mga gawaing pambata. Para sa ikatlong markahan, week 1, pagpapakita ng kaugali ang Pilipino. Week 2, pagpapahayag ng isang tanda na mabuting pag-uugali. Week 3, pagsunod sa mga tuntunin may kinalaman sa kaligtasan. Week 4, pagsunod sa tuntunin kinalaman sa magpapanatili ng ligtas sa pamayanan. Para sa ika-apat na markahan, week 1, pananalig sa Diyos, at week 2, paniniwala ng iba tungkol sa 
Diyos ang paggalang. Diyan nagtatapos ang ESP para sa grade 3. Dumako naman tayo sa English grade 3 na nasa pahina 94 to 96. So these are the most essential learning competencies for English 3. Quarter 1, so we do not have duration. Describe one's drawing about the stories. Write a short descriptive paragraph. Write a short paragraph. Write a diary. Different kinds of sentences. Common and proper nouns. Plural form of regular nouns. Plural form of irregular nouns. Reading and writing short E, A, I, O, and U words. Read phrases sentences. Initiate conversation. Summarizes interesting information. For quarter two, use the verbs. Use simple verbs. Read words. Read familiar words. Read words, phrases, sentences. Spell one to two syllable. Identify commonly used possessive pronouns. Identify several effects based on a given cause. Make inferences and draw conclusions. Distinguish fact from opinion. Use different sources of information in reading. Recognize some words, homonyms, homo homographs. Hyponyms, identify possible solution to problems, identify the elements of an informational factual text here, read words, read phrases, read phrase sentences, ask and respond to question, compare and contrast information, read word with affixes. For quarter four, write a simple story, degree of adjectives, adverb of manners, simple maps of unfamiliar word places. Simple graphs, read word with affixes, restate facts from informational, informational text, read words containing vowel di diagrams, read phrases, read words, read phrases, recognize and read some irregularly spelled words, and lastly, present information in varied artistic ways. So, dyan po nagtatapos ang English grade 3. Para naman sa Filipino grade 3, nasa pahina 109 to 111. First quarter, the, for the most essential learning competencies for Filipino grade 3, pangalan, kaalaman, nagagamit ang unang kaalaman o karanasan sa pag-unawa sa teksto, pagsagot sa mga tanong, paggamit ng ibang bahagi ng aklat, Salitang may tatlong pantig, pagsunod sa nakasulat na panuto, nakakabaybay, paggamit ng diksyonaryo, paggamit ng usapan sa mga salitang pamalit, mga magagalang na pananalita, elemento ng kwento, pagkasalaysay muli ng teksto. Nagagamit ang malaki at maliit na letra, nagagamit ang panghalip, nakabuo ng isang katumbas na napahinggang kwento. Para sa second quarter, na pagbibigay ng wakas pag-uulat ng naobserbahang pangyayari na babago ang dating kaalaman base sa natuklasan kaalaman na payayaman ang talasalitaan sa pamagitan ng paggamit ng magkasing kahulugan paggamit ng mga gala ng pananalita natutukoy ang mga salita magkakatugma nakagagamit ng pahiwatig upang malaman ng kahulugan ng mga salita na ikukumpa na ikukumpara ang mga kwento sa pamagitan ng pagtatala Nakasusulat ng talata na may wastong baybay. Nakabubuo ng mga tanong matapos mapakinggang isang teksto. Nagagamit ang angkop na pagtanong tungkol sa mga tao. Nababaybay ng was o mga salitang natutunan. Nakapaglalarawan ng mga tao para sa ikatlong markahan pagtukoy sa kahulugan ng tambalan salita. Sariling ideya tungkol sa teksto, pagpapahayag ng sariling opinion, pagsabi ng paksa, Paggamit ng tamang salita, kilos o pandiwa, napapalita at dadagdagan ng mga tunog, pagbibigay ng sumusuport ng kaisipan, pagsipi ng wasto at maayos sa liham na ibibigay ang sariling hinuha, nagagamit ang tamang salita, kilos, pagbibigay ng angkop na pamagat sa binasang teksto, paggamit ng wasto ng mga pangabay, sanhi at bunga at panguhol. Para sa fourth quarter, katinig patinig. Pagsasaba ng katinig at pandinig, pagsipin ng wasa at maayos na talata, 
Naiugnay ang binasa sa sariling karanasan. Pagsulat ng isang talata, naiugnay ang binasa sa sariling karanasan. Salitang hilos, salitang hiram, tambalang salita. Bungkahin solusyon sa sariling suliraning nabasa. Mahalagang detalye, pagbubuod o lagom. Baksan ng kwento. Diyan nagtatapos ang Filipino grade 3. Dumako naman tayo sa Mathematics Grade 3, nasa pahina 151 hanggang 154. So, Mathematics for Grade 3. For Quarter 1, the learner will demonstrate understanding of whole numbers up to 10,000 ordinal numbers up to 100 and money up to 1,000 pesos. Also, they will demonstrate understanding of addition and subtraction of whole numbers including money. So, here are the most most essential learning competencies for quarter 1. So, meron tayong dito week 1 na magtatapos hanggang week 9. For quarter 2, they will demonstrate understanding of multiplication and division of whole numbers including money. So, dito magpo-focus na sa quarter 2 sa multiplication and division. They will also able to apply mu multiplication and division of whole numbers including money in mathematical problems and real life situations. So, week 1 to week 9 for quarter 2. For quarter 3, they will demonstrate understanding of proper, improper, dissimilar, and equivalent fractions, demonstrate understanding of lines and symmetrical designs, demonstrate understanding of continuous and repeating patterns, and mathematical sentences. So, we have week 8, most essential learning for math grade 3. For quarter 4, they will demonstrate understanding of conversion of time, linear, mass, and capacity measures, and area of square and rectangle. Demonstrate understanding of bar graphs and outcomes of an event using the terms sure, likely, equally likely, and unlikely, and impossible to happen. So we have week 9 for the quarter 4. Para naman sa mape, we have four components. Music na sa pahina 183 hanggang 185. So, for first quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts of rhythm. So, we have four most essential learning competencies for first quarter. For second quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts of melody and also basic concepts of musical form. So we have week 1 to week 8. For third quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts of timbre. Also, they will demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts of the dynamic in order to respond to conducting gesture. So we have five most essential learning competencies for quarter, third quarter. For fourth quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of the concepts of tempo in order to respond to conducting symbols indicating variations in tempo. They will demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts of texture. So we have five most essential learning competencies for fourth quarter, music grade 3. Dumako naman tayo sa arts na nasa pahina 208 hanggang 211. Grade 3 arts for first quarter, the learner demonstrate understanding of lines, texture, shapes, and depth contrast through drawing. So, for first quarter, we have 8 most essential learning competencies. For second quarter, the learner demonstrate understanding of lines, textures, shapes, and balance of size, contrast of texture through drawing. So we have eight most essential learning competencies. 
For a third quarter, the, de the learner demonstrates understanding of shapes, colors, and principles, repetition, and emphasis through printmaking or stencils. So we have eight also. For fourth quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of shapes, colors, textures, and emphasis by variation of shapes and textures and contrast of colors through sculpture and crafts. So we have eight most essential learning for fourth quarter period. Dumako naman tayo sa physical education ng grade 3 na nasa pahina 244 hanggang 246. So, for first quarter, the learner will demonstrate understanding of body shapes and body actions in preparation for various movement activities. So, we have five most essential learning for first quarter. For second quarter, the learner will demonstrate understanding of locations, directions, level, pathways, and planes. So, we have three most essential learning for PE. For third quarter, the learner will demonstrate understanding of movements in relation to time, force, and flow. So we have four most essential learning for third quarter. For fourth quarter, the learner demonstrates understanding of movement activities relating to person, objects, music, and environment. We have four most essential learning for fourth quarter physical education grade 3. Para sa health naman na nasa pahina 265 hanggang 267. So first quarter, the learner demonstrated understanding of the importance of nutritional guidelines and balanced diet in good nutrition and health. So, we have week 1 to week 8, most essential learning competencies. For second quarter, they will demonstrate an understanding of the nature and the prevention of diseases. So, we have 6 most essential learnings for week 1 to week 8. For third quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of factors that affect the choice of health information and products. So, we have 9 most essential learnings. For week 1 to week 10. For fourth quarter, they will demonstrate understanding of race to ensure road safety and in the community. So we have 10 most essential learning for week 1 to week 10. So dyan po nagtatapos ang health grade 3. Ngayon naman, para sa mother tongue grade 3, nasa pahina 291 to 292. Para sa first quarter, vocabulary words, write poems, differentiate count, promise nouns, important details, correct counters, combination of affixes, use expressions, uses abstract nouns, metaphor, personification, and others, meaning of poem, different types of sentences, and idiomatic expression. For second quarter, they will identify interrogative pronouns, expressions appropriate to the grade level, metaphor, personification, hyperbole. For third quarter, they will write reactions and personal opinions, part of newspaper, pictograph, illustration, verb, informational text, author purpose. For fourth quarter, make a two-level outline, write three to five-step procedural par paragraph, identify use adverbs and prepositions. So, dito po nagtatapos ang mother tongue for grade 3. So, guys, ayan natapos na tayo. Dear teachers, natapos na po ang milk for grade 3. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig para po sa ating milk. So, wag po natin kalimutan mag-subscribe, ihit ang notification bell. So, abangan po natin ang mga videos na i-upload po natin soon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Keep safe guys.